Hey everyone, Lawrence is back and uh, it's been a few days because I had to move over the last couple days and uh, so it's taken a, oops, a little time to get situated. But I am here in my new apartment. Um, well, it's not really my apartment, but I'm subletting for a while and uh, it's a beautiful place. I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a sort of tour um, so this is, we're starting in my room. So this is about as big as the whole apartment that I left was. Um, <laughs> so I, I actually cleaned it up a little bit, you know, in case my landlord sees it. Um, so yes, this is my bedroom. And then now we're going to walk down the hall. Look at, look at this amazing hall. So... We're here, there's the bathroom. This is an office. This is my landlord's room. I don't wanna show that, just, you know, privacy. Here's the entry, the, the front door and the entryway. And isn't that a beautiful clock? Um, and look, I mean, it's very grand. Oh, I never even noticed that light up there, okay. And then we come into the main room, the living room with a real piano, which I'm very excited about. And there we are, everything in here, the dining room. My, um, unfortunately I have no Wi-Fi in my room, so my computer is out here. Here's the dining area and look at this kitchen. I about cried when I saw this kitchen. So that that's the apartment. There's also a balcony. There's, the view is, you know, not great. It's a parking lot, but it's just, I don't care. <laughs> it's a lovely place. And there's a tree here. There's a, you know, a little something. It's kind of a gray day. Um, but anyway... Uh, I trimmed my goatee a little bit. I didn't do a very good job, but I trimmed it. If, just want to let you know, I got my booster shot today, my booster COVID vaccine. Um, if a wave of some kind of reaction happens while I'm doing this, you'll, I'll try to keep going, but you'll know that that's what that is. I, uh, um, I'm fine so far. So knock on, if I can find any wood, I'll be okay. Um, but I'm glad to have the booster and I hope everybody is getting their vaccine and booster shots and all of that. Okay. We got to do our part in getting rid of this thing. So, um, enough about that. I'm here to talk about me in Berlin. And, um, so now, um, I'm going to fill you in on the couple days, uh, like three days after we last talked. So um, September 29th, I'm going to go by dates now because it's like trying to go by my 12th day, my 17th day. Um, September 29th, so a little over a week after I got here. Um, I didn't go out that day because it was very gray and rainy. Um, and it's, you know, not good sightseeing weather. So I stayed in, but I did have some good news that day. My... Um, I haven't really talked about like what I do and all of that much, but um, I'm a composer, lyricist, and in this case, book writer too. Um, and my musical adaptation of Pride and Prejudice, called Pride and Prejudice the Musical, um, has uh, had that day uh, got its uh, signed for its, its seventh, yes, seventh production. Um, I've had one in Europe. I've had one in England. Um, that's where uh, the only one in Europe so far. But I'm hoping uh, to have more, of course. And um, so I'm very excited that uh, I'll have two productions this spring in the U.S. Um, one of this, this is a high school production in Idaho. And uh, the other one is with a small company in Massachusetts near Boston. So, uh, yeah, so this... Uh, yeah, my Pride and Prejudice musical has done pretty well. I'm actually very happy with it. And I, uh, you know, of course, would love to 
get it up on a on a major stage, um, a professional production. But we did have a concert of it at 54 Below in New York, which is a pretty big deal and had good reviews and had some great um, stars from Broadway in it. And it was very exciting. So anyway, um, now back to Berlin. <laughs> I keep I keep getting sidetracked. So um, so that was that day. It just uh, some good news and just stayed in. September 30th, I went back to look at more of Schoenberg, the northern part, which is actually now where I'm living. Um, and uh, also ended up in Potsdamer Platz, which uh, is a kind of a cool spot also. Um, so the big thing for me, I'm, you know, we've talked about it a little. I'm into food, as you know. So, um, I learned about Kadeve, which is a, uh, it's, I believe, the second largest department store in Europe after Harrods in London. And, um, it is a pretty spectacular store. And on the sixth floor is this insane food court kind of thing. I don't want to call it a court because it's, it's not like a food court in a mall at all. It's it's very beautiful, high end stuff um, from all over the world. There's actually an American section, which was kind of fun. Um, and uh, so I was up there for quite a long time. Um, <laughs> the cheese department is incredible. Uh, I spoke with the woman behind the counter for a while because I, you know, I was looking at everything and she wanted to know what I wanted and. I said, I can't decide right now, but I'm looking. And she wanted to know about American cheeses, um, which, you know, there are some good ones, um, but they're all artisanally made. Um, And, uh, you know, most places don't have them, but you have to go like to a cheese shop really in the U.S. to get them. Um, But I told her about some of my favorites and they didn't, they only had one American cheese out of all these like, hundreds and hundreds of cheeses. Um, and it was um, <clears throat> Bella, oh gosh, what is it called? It's made in Wisconsin and then they flavor it with different things. It's it's okay, but it's certainly not one of the, I don't think, best American cheeses. Um, but it's, it's perfectly tasty. But uh, anyway, I was like, no, 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 you got to get this. You got to get that. So I wrote down a bunch of names for her of different cheeses like Harbison and uh, Cabot cloth bound cheddar and, you know, some of the good ones. Anyway, so that was fun. The chocolate section is endless. I mean, I went back more recently and, uh, I missed half of it. I didn't, I mean, it goes on and on and on. There's restaurants, there's of all different kinds. There's a potato place. There's a, the bakery is amazing. The, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. And I was very excited. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> I kind of lost my mind, really. Um, so when I left there, there was a, a nice farmer's market in Wittenberg Platz. Uh, and I walked around there and bought a little um, uh, of worst uh, with some potato salad. And uh, had that standing up at a little table um, for lunch. And that was really yummy. Um then walked up the street to the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church, um, which is really uh, um, pretty, I mean, spectacular, but in a, not in a, like, you know, uh, Disney on ice kind of way. You know, it's it's more like, um, it, it's, it's this bombed out church that... Uh, they left standing. It was bombed in World War II, and it was left standing as a as an anti-war memorial. And it just it's sort of it's huge, and it it just looks very I don't know, kind of overwhelming. Um, especially it's next to they built a, a modern church next to it, um, and with these amazing blue windows, it's it's just gorgeous. So seeing this old bombed out very large church next to this modern building just was really, um, I don't know. It just, it just really affected me. It was very, uh, uh, interesting and, and cool, but 
sad, of course, um, to see this beautiful, what must have been a beautiful church, uh, you know, to be bombed like this. I know it was done by us, um, but, uh, you know, um, war, not good. Not good, not happy about war. Okay. Um, anyway, that the rest of that day, uh, I went back home and, um, you know, I started feeling like I only had two months allowed where I'm, where, where I was living. And I had to look, I thought I had to look for an apartment. I just didn't even know where to start. Obviously it worked out. But, um, I remember that day I was just really like, what am I going to do? The next day, I'll just go quickly. Um, October 1st, a new month. I, uh, went to Charlottenburg, which is a lovely, quieter, more kind of stately, quiet, neighborhood uh, with, you know, maybe a little older clientele, crowd, whatever, uh, demographic. That's the word, demographic, um, living there. But it's very, very beautiful. And I first went to this um, uh, marzipan store because I love marzipan and they make their own marzipan there. And I bought a bunch of stuff, of course, because that's what I do. And uh, and then just walked. I, I went through a, by a farmer's market um, and then went and uh, saw the Charlottenburg Palace, which is beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. And walked. I walked around the grounds behind it. There's a lake and swans and geese and all, you know, it's just it's just gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, that that was Charlottenburg. There's. um it's it's a beautiful area. There, it's not as touristy, I don't think, except for the castle or palace. Um, but uh, it was it was cool. I walked by the Deutsche Oper Berlin um, on the way back, and then when I came home, I went to my favorite restaurant in my neighborhood and uh, in my former neighborhood, and um, I would I would go there once a week, and uh, I got Flammkuchen which I had never had, I don't think, before. And they were still, it was still Pfifferlinger sing, uh, a little, Pfifferlinger sings season. Oh my God, I can't say that. Pfifferlinger season. This is going to be my new tongue twister for my kids when I teach them. Um, so uh, my class, yeah, they'll love it. If they can say Pfifferlinger. Um, and so it was a, uh, covered in the, in the chanterelles. That's easier to say. Uh, and it was really, really good. Anyway, those were those days, and um, I just keep seeing more and more of Berlin, and I keep being wowed. It's just, it's just wonderful. So, uh, and now you've seen my new place. So, all exciting, and I lasted through this without a having an attack of some sort. Okay. <laughs> thank you all, and I want to say thank you for everybody who's been watching. I have, re I'm floored. When I saw that, I mean, today there are over 500 views of the first episode of this. I wasn't even going to post it. I didn't even know. I don't know. I was just like, who wants to see this? Obviously, people want to see this, and I'm thrilled. And I've been connecting with people. They've left messages and emails, and and uh, it's just been really a wonderful experience that uh, I never expected. So um, keep watching, and I'll keep I'll keep doing these. Okay. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.